Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a new day, a chance for a new start. Yesterday is gone, and with it, any regrets, mistakes, or failures I may have experienced is a good day to be glad and give. Thanks, and I do, Lord. Thank you for today, a new opportunity to love, give, and be all that you want me to be today. I want to start the day with you on my mind and in my. As I dress, let me wear the armor. You provided daily the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, and the sword of the spirit. With prayer on my tongue, praise for you and petitions for those around me and those I meet. Feed me today with your daily. As the bread of life, your food like manna will sustain me throughout any trials and hungers. Help me to set my thoughts on things above, and to speak only what will help and encourage others. Keep me from putting my food in my mouth, and help me guard the affections of my heart today. Lord, may whatever work I do be marked with excellence, rather than perfectionism, as I seek not to make. But to make a difference, help me to treat each person I encounter as you would, with respect and love, forgiving others and asking for forgiveness myself where needed. As I start this day, help me remember that I belong to you. My desire is to act accordingly, keep my feet from stumbling and my mind from wandering into distractions that could steal precious time and energy from the most important things you have designed for. I'm proud to be your child, Lord, and I'm so grateful that you died for me, rising again on your own new morning, so that every day could be filled with the wonder of your love, the freedom of your spirit, and the joy of knowing you. I know earthly life is short and fleeting, Lord. But I want to live today as if it were the first or the last day of my life. Giving thanks for every good and perfect gift you choose to give today, and every day I want to live my life for you, Jesus, in your precious name, Amen. The reason some people live worried, offended, negative is they let everything in and listen to the news all day. They dwell on the medical report. They go to lunch with people who are critical. The problem is they're not ruling the atmosphere. You have to be careful what you allow in. You can't stop every negative thing from coming, but you can see from getting down in your spirit. It's up to you to say to anything that tries to poison that atmosphere. No thanks. You're not welcome here. You can't control all the around you, but you can control what gets in you.